Brad and Erica, we just got an update from investigators who say that the victim, Francisco Aranda, and his wife were both forced into the trunk of that car by home invaders, but the husband then saved the wife with his actions. Yesterday for a welfare check and found Francisco Aranda's wife inside their 2003 Chevy Impala bound with her hands behind her back. The 59-year-old woman said that two masked men entered their home Sunday night to rob them. Aranda and his wife were both bound and placed inside the trunk of the Impala. In an attempt to escape, Mr. Aranda began kicking at the back of the seat and was able to loosen one side, allowing his wife to crawl through the opening. Aranda's wife said she heard her husband breathing erratically before she passed out. Investigators say her husband's actions most likely saved her. Today, friends and loved ones were stunned to hear the story. He taught me how to wash dishes, <laughs> you know, and how to uh, mop floors. He was like a grandpa to us, basically. Francisco Aranda was affectionately known as Pancho by those who knew him well, and almost everybody in this neighborhood did. Um, he is somebody that was more than just a business owner. He was a community leader. Today, Will County Sheriff's deputies stood guard outside his store, Supermercado La Raza. 30 miles away, they watched over his Crete Township home, now a crime scene. He was such a nice person, and I don't know why anybody would want to cause harm to someone like him. Aranda's employees got the news yesterday. They tell me that the store has been robbed several times in the past and sometimes by masked men. Chicago police confirmed at least two reports for forcible entry in March and in October. No word tonight on a motive, but police said it appears to have been a targeted attack. He was a great man. He's going to be always in my heart. Now, Rhonda's wife was treated for severe bruising to her hands. She's expected to be released today. Police are saying that initial information indicates that they were, quote, specifically targeted by the offenders in order to rob them. Live in the back of the yards, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 News.